Hey, what is up everybody? So today we'll be going to a customer's house who recently gave us a call because their tank has been struggling and because of that, they got a huge bloom of Asterina starfish in their tank. So I'm gonna go ahead and pack up and let's head to the customer's house and see exactly what we are looking at. So here I am walking in to the customer's tank and uh, there's a starfish on the glass here. Uh, it's not as bad as I thought it was going to be, some cyanobacteria on the sand there. Uh, there's a couple more starfish on the back, uh, acrylic there. But honestly, this isn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. I was expecting worse. I've seen worse. Uh, there's a couple you can make out there on the rock. But um, yeah, I was expecting a, a, there to be a lot more because usually when you have starfish like this, it, your glass, your front glass is completely covered. Like we have some on the glass but not many and you know if you look closely you can see that they're i guess they are covering the rock pretty well i guess there is a decent amount in here do i think that's the cause of this tank's problems no i think that they are a you know they're here because of the problem but i don't think that they cause the problem uh, it, it, it's a bit misleading because you can see there are some on the, the dead uh, skeleton of this hammer coral. So that would lead some to believe that they are actively feeding on the hammer coral, but I, I, I don't think so. I also was told that uh, one of the anemones kind of went rogue and stung a lot of these corals. So I, I guess that explains why the hammer uh, is not doing too well or the Duncan coral is doing too well. And then we have this dead acan or dying acan with the skeleton showing and there's a bunch of starfish there on that exposed skeleton the good news is the customer is going to be doing some remodeling to their house so we're going to take this as an opportunity to completely redo this tank and oh look at this puffer oh they're my favorite i love these green spotted puffers so much look at this guy look at that big old belly hey say hey bud such a beautiful fish and great addition to our reef tank so i'm back at the shop now and i got a bucket full of Asterina starfish or for some very hungry harlequin shrimp. Now these guys came in a couple of days ago so they should be very hungry. I mean their tank was absolutely covered with them. So I siphoned off as many as I could and we're gonna go ahead and feed these to the harlequin shrimp. So I'm just gonna drop a couple of these in here and see how long it takes for the harlequins to realize they're there. And right away as I put the Asterina starfish in there, the Harlequins can already smell it. They already know what's going on. He is scanning the area. He knows there's starfish around here. My boys are hungry. And what did I tell you? How good they are at finding these starfish in, in, in a tank. They, he's already found one. Look at this. He's already got one. He's already eating one. That's so cool. I mean, these guys have evolved to just eat starfish. I mean, they, they're so good at it. In the second harlequin found starfish as well. Uh, these shrimp are pretty voracious. So they, they will put a significant dent in a population of starfish in no time. I mean, they, they don't seem to get full. They're always kind of actively hunting. So my friend here, he needs a little bit of help. So I'm gonna go ahead and just direct him a little bit more towards where the Asterina starfish are and Hopefully he'll grab onto it. I think he was sleeping. Let's just say he was sleeping. Here you go, buddy. Here. Ah, uh, he's got one. So everybody's got a starfish. Everybody's eating, and I'll throw some more in there so that they have uh, uh, enough in the tank that they can munch on as they please. Oh, so check this out. Everybody sees these. A lot of our customers see these and they think that they're like little octopus or something, but these are uh, serpent starfish or uh, brittle stars. And they are cool as hell. They make really good uh, addition to your reef aquarium just because they're so good at uh, eating up like kind of leftover food and kind of just really good scavengers. But they're cool as hell looking, aren't they? I mean, they do resemble octopus in some way. And for a starfish, they move relatively quick. Yeah, big fan of these. Yeah, like I said, definitely a great addition for, to your cleanup crew. Definitely don't overlook these guys. Also chilling in the invert system is just this little Halloween hermit crab, which I thought is pretty cool too. 
So we have Harlequin shrimp in one, two, three, four tanks. And already the Astorina starfish that we put in here are already starting to climb up on the glass. So there's tons and tons of them. I dumped tons and tons of them into these tanks. So that'll be plenty of food for them for now uh, to hold them over until we're able to put them into a customer's tank. Now, the other really cool thing I wanted to show you guys is we have these uh, pairs of Mandarin gobies. They're absolutely beautiful. We have them in the invert systems as well. So anybody who's kept these fish before knows how difficult it is to keep them fed. And especially in a quarantine situation, we have to make sure that they're eating. They are a little bit under eight, uh, underweight. We have to make sure they're fattened up and, and ready to go through quarantine because like these fish, just like every other fish has to go through our quarantine protocol. So we have to get them on frozen food. So check this out. That is right. They are eating frozen food, which is a huge win for us when it comes to quarantining uh, these fish properly because it is a, a month long uh, to do. So we gotta make sure that they don't starve to death in that time. But getting these fish to eat frozen food is tricky. So how we started was just with some live brine and we throw that in there. So I'll go ahead and throw some live brine in there as well. They like when I do that. So that movement kind of like activates their feeding response and then they get a taste of that brine and then it's a lot easier to get them to eat frozen. And um, all four of the pairs of mandarins that we have in these tanks are all eating frozen. And that's just a big relief for us because now we can go about the quarantine process and not worry about whether uh, they're getting enough food or not. I'll try to feed them as much as possible throughout the day just uh, because they, they kind of just are constantly actively eating and actively hunting. So I just try to satisfy that hunger. And you can just tell right here, look at, she's going to go for it. You see that? That's a frozen piece that's floating there. Is she going to? Yep. Got it. Being able to have those mandarins on frozen food is such a huge win for us. I, I'm just, it's, it's critical to the quarantine process. And that's one stuffed Harlequin shrimp right there. Now, if you have these starfish in your tank, if there's just a few of them, you can probably pick them out or siphon them out, no big deal. But if they're, if it's a bad infestation and it's really bothering you, then it's not a bad idea to get something like a Harlequin shrimp. They are a beautiful ornamental shrimp to have in your reef aquarium. They're peaceful, they don't bother anybody. Just make sure you don't have any fish that will bother them. They're beautiful with that white uh, body and blue spots. The only catcher is that they eat starfish and starfish only. So once they eat all the starfish in your aquarium, then you'll have to go to the fish store and you'll have to buy uh, something like a chocolate chip star to make sure that they're happy probably, you know, once every two weeks or once every month, depending on the size of the starfish. Now, as far as the customer goes, uh, they're gonna be remodeling their house and redoing their floors. So we'll have to break down their tank and we're gonna take that as an opportunity to completely redo everything. So this wasn't our aquarium to begin with. We took it over from a previous service company. So it's gonna be kind of nice to be able to restart and only put quarantine coral and fish in there um, and just avoid future uh, problems like this. So I'll definitely be doing an updated video on that and hopefully we can make this customer really, really happy uh, and they can have the tank that they always wanted. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for coming along the ride with me today. I appreciate you guys. I'll see you next time.